Hey fans, what's up? This is Gaming Guys. So Nace is back with more Lego The Hobbit. All right, last time we finished, or last time we left off, we uh, finished uh, Erebor. So now we're off to the Shire. So all right, I gotta build something. So let me get my stylus out here. Come on, where's my stylus? Okay, I should have got this out before. <laughs> all right, sorry for the hold up. Yeah, but I have to say I have uh, I practiced this game while you know the the like like since I posted the first episode and I'm really loving this 3ds version. It's really impressed me, you know. Like, yeah. replies to the party invitations. They all say they're coming. Like the hub world is amazing here. Like you know. Okay, so let's just continue right here. Uh, yeah, let's continue. You always need gold bricks to be able to progress to another platform. So um, just be on the lookout to always go out of your way sometimes if you can to get gold bricks. But yeah, but yeah, like I'm almost done. I'm almost halfway done with the uh, unexpected journey. I've already reached Rivendell. But yeah, this is a very impressive 3DS game. My only problem with this is if they could have lowered the camera a bit, then it'll be like Lego City 3DS. People are beginning to wonder about you, Uncle. I think you're becoming odd. Odd? Oh. I'm not the same hobbit I once was. I'm sorry, do I know you? But I'm Gandalf. Gandalf. Not Gandalf, the wandering wizard who made such excellent fireworks. No idea you were still in business. I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. What? No, 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 wait. We do not want any adventures here. Good morning. Dwale, at your service. Bilbo, Baggins, yours. Do we know each other? No. <laughs> this is that famous scene where the the doors just uh, break themselves into uh, Bilbo's house. I remember this when I played it in The Hobbit and uh, on GBA, Game Boy Advance. So yeah. So as I said, this game has really impressed me. I have to say. It's, uh, besides LEGO City 3DS, it's my favorite game so far, or my favorite LEGO game on the 3DS so far, besides LEGO City uh, 3DS. Yeah. Is it down here? It, it is what down where? Sapa. Yeah, it's Sapa here. He said that'd be food. He, he said. Who said? I love how they put the dialogue from the movies. It's really, it's really good. It's, it's natural, you know, it's not like... Okay, uh hmm. Okay, don't tell me I forgot how to do this already. Hmm, let's see something here. Okay. I was just going through this quite nicely before. Why am I having difficulty? Okay, yeah, there. Huh. Sometimes you forget things. But yeah, I'm playing as Dwellin. Every dwarf has like a certain ability. Which is really cool, you know. They did the best they could with this game, you know. So I don't hear anyone saying the console version is better. The 3DS sucks. Of course, the 3DS is not going to be better than the console, but you know, if they could have just lowered the camera, because I'm not digging the bird's eye view. I mean, it is reminiscent of the Hobbit on the Game Boy Advance, but they could lower the camera, make it more 3D. This would be cool, because it has an overworld. Like there's so much things to do after you're done with the game, almost like an open world. So, yeah. Balin, at your service. No, you can't come in. You come to the wrong house. <laughs> All right. We build that to open to the other door because the hobby because Bilbo doesn't he doesn't want us to break into his house, but we have to because Gandalf says we have to. Yeah, if you uh, can, I'm trying to break things here to get as many gold bricks as I can, cause you will not be able to progress through a level, through the game if you do not have enough number of gold bricks. Oh, evening, brother. But it's not as bad as Lego Marvel superheroes, so at least not yet. 
<laughs> Thanks for the headbutt. Have you eaten? Who was this? Nice, break through this door. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like we got some food. Go away and bother somebody else. <laughs> I like how we're interacting with different characters. If, if this is some plotheads idea of a joke, it is in very poor taste. No, no, there's nobody home. Yep, and the whole gang uh, break in, including Thorin, Oakenshiel, and Gandalf. All right. Gandalf. Bilbo Baggins, allow me to introduce the leader of our company, Sorin Oakenshiel. All right. Let's use this. <laughs> Look at Keyline having fun over there. Excuse me, Mr. Gandalf. Yes. May I tempt you with a cup of chamomile? No, oh wait, wait. Oh, cause that almost disappeared. I wasn't gonna go back and get it. Yes, cool. Anytime you see like a little order, that means you can't use that unless you have the One Ring to bind them all. Okay. One Ring to rule them all, and in the darkness bind them. Yeah. Okay, uh, who am I gonna be here? Keela? Huh. Whatever. Oh, come on. Where can I find... Oh, yeah, okay. I almost forgot. What, uh... I almost forgot I can play the Castlevania Dwarf. You know, the one with the chain. The ball chain, whatever you want to call it. There, <laughs> Okay, I uh, got two out of three. I need to get one more of these. Oh, or I can just be Thorn. And command all the doors to do that. Let's eat. Speaking of which, I just had a very good hearty breakfast, so. <laughs> yeah, the shot here is a short world. Uh, so, uh, well, like, I'll be doing two worlds, or one to two every episode. Okay. Okay, now this one's cool. You gotta catch the dishes and throw them and toss them to every door because this is what they did in the movie. They actually clean. Yeah, so I gotta press A to catch the uh, dish with Thorn and then pass it to the other doors. Because if I miss, then the other door catches it. And because he's Butterfingers, he doesn't know how to he doesn't know how to pass. A Bill O'Banion's lights. All right. Okay, now it's time for his doors to sing because doors love a good song. It's kind of funny the abilities you got here. It's just like the movie. Okay, time to sing. All of you. Of the Iron Hill Sea. They say this quest is ours and ours alone. You're doing a quest. Far to the east lies a single solitary peak. A lonely mountain. And the barrens of yore return to Erebor. The reign of the beast will end. So, what beast? The dragon Smaug has not been seen for 60 years. Perhaps the vast wealth of our people now lies unprotected. The front gate is sealed. There is no way into the mountain. That, my dear Marlin, is not entirely true. If there is a key, there must be a door. The answer lies hidden somewhere in this map. The task I have in mind will require a great deal of stealth. That's why we need a burglar. Hmm. A good one, too. An expert, I'd imagine. Hobbits are remarkably light on their feet. And while the dragon is accustomed to the smell of dwarf, the scent of a hobbit is all but unknown to him. Give him a contract. No, no. It's just the usual summary of out-of-pocket expenses. Time required, remuneration, funeral arrangements, so forth. Funeral arrangements? The bill was like funeral arrangements. Cool, let's see how many gold bricks we got. Okay, cool. So we got three gold bricks. 
So now I understand this game. I'm glad I actually practiced this because I was going to do blind. You know, the first episode is usually always very long because I don't know what I'm doing. But you won't be seeing 30-something minute LEGO videos much anymore. At least on 3DS version. Still waiting on getting my console. I haven't rented it yet. But yeah. Kind of surprised now. A lot of people aren't really participating in this uh, in the giveaway. So are you guys like fed up with handheld Lego games? This one is actually the best uh, I played in a while since Lego City. I like it how they try to get that open world feel. Like, like look at these overworlds. There's many different paths to take. So right now we're in the Shire world. Okay, Bilbo. He wants to go on an adventure with these guys. See, and anytime you see blue, like anytime you see this, you basically use this gray platform to travel to, to different worlds. Anytime you see something blue, that basically means you can go to your shop pad or something like that. What's this? The Book of Men is now available at the shop. Nice. Okay, the Book of Men. Okay. Now, I won't be wasting studs on things that I've already bought when uh, my own fire when I was playing this, like a uh, Mr. Where are you off to? Adventure! Like, uh, you know, hints and stuff. My See, and this is a, a, like, like, like a mission. You can't, I can't really do this mission because I don't have the tools yet, but yeah. So there are many different submissions here. I'd like to be able to pass this miner's hat on as an heirloom. To be honest, any miner's hat would do. Yeah, like, I just wish they could lower the camera a bit, but oh well, it's not a biggie. And you see these things? Those things you can only build with, uh, hmm. yeah, you see? You need, uh, what did I just do? Oh, you can actually build that. Cool, I didn't know that. Let's build, because I got enough gold bricks. Wait, am I building a bridge or what? Yep, I'm building a bridge, okay. Okay, never mind. I thought I was doing something else. Now we're entering Bree. I told you the Shire was a very short world. But wait, I, I want to see this first. What would I do with this? Yeah, see, these are locked. Okay, what's this? Some folks say there's not much to see here in Hobbiton. I remember tales from my childhood of the legendary dwarven statues of Erebor. They were said to be as large as the mountain they guarded. But the folks who lived there were no bigger than me. I suppose a simple hobbit isn't destined to see such greatness. Cool. Almost makes me want to go on my way to do all these extra missions. I young Pilbury back into my best tea hat a while ago, and I think the dozy deer must have forgotten to return it. I feel a bit awkward bringing it up. If you round it back again any time soon, could you pick it up for me? Wait, what did you say you left again? Oh, lady, I'm on adventure. I don't got any time for you guys. Maybe after I'm done with the main game. <laughs> okay, let's move on to here. I signed it. Welcome, Master Baggins, to the company of Thorin Oakenshield. Great All right. Pages on whether or not you'd turn up. Most of them bet that you wouldn't. What did you think? My dear fella, I never doubted you for a second. <laughs> hey, what's this? What'd I do here? Uh, let's see what this is. This is forge pad. Wait, what's the forge pad for again? Oh yeah, you can basically build tools. So see over here, you have to every time you beat a level, you acquire some uh, like a certain number of. Uh, oh wait, I just bought something. You acquire a certain number of materials. So uh, let's see something here. I'm gonna try my best to stay on task here, but it's hard because this is actually the the first handheld Lego game in a while that has so many like, like different things to do. So the book of bridge not available at this shop. Cool. What's this one? Mineral pad. Spend minerals to build objects that allow you to progress downside paths. Okay, I need ten of bronze. Let's see if I can get that. I just want to see if I can get that. So I wasn't able to do that last time. Uh, huh. I don't really have ten of that yet, so never mind. Let's just continue on our merry way. Remember, the the green studs shows you where you need to go. 
And those are like, and when you see like a blank pad, it's usually save files. A stranger once told me the tale of I wish I could exit out of these when I accidentally run into them. Far away, deep beneath the misty mountains, his throne was so magnificent that once he sat in it, he never again. stood up again. Alright. With all this mud and nowhere to sit, I could certainly use a couple Can be a spoiled like king? That. No, thank you. What's this? Resources. Eh, I'm good. Okay, let's continue going here. Yeah, let's just follow the green studs here. Wait, wait, I, I see something up there. Whatever. What was that? Books. There'll be dozens of them out there. You think that's funny? You think a night raid by orcs is a joke? We didn't mean anything by it. You know nothing of the world. Don't mind him, laddie. Thorin has more cause than most to hate orcs. After the dragon took the lonely mountain, King Thror tried to reclaim the ancient dwarf kingdom of Moria. All right, now we're going to have a flashback here and go all the way to the mines of Moria. But our enemy had got there first. This is pretty cool. The combat for this game is pretty good for a handheld game. You know? So, let's go straight to it. Alright, let's see how many gold bricks. We, 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 you know, it doesn't really matter how much gold bricks we get here because we already jumped worlds here. This is just a flashback Moria. We won't reach Moria anytime soon. Uh, Moria will be after Rivendell. This is just where we're reliving the flashback sequence of Thorin and why he hates orcs so much. Moria had been taken by legions of orcs, led by the most vile of all orcs. Isaac, the Defiler. Isaac the Defiler, huh? Alright. Alright, uh... See, look, look at the combat here, it's really cool. Bam! And look, and uh, so you hack it slash bam! And look, I can also do something else. Do that, then do this. Wait, oh, come on, there's, there's too many of them. Bam! And you can also, like, like, like do a ground pound, a finisher. Like that. Look how awesome it is. Oh, wait, I gotta defeat 45 of these enemies? And, okay, let me do my special move. Oh, crap. Okay, let's build something here. We gotta rescue this door. Okay, all right. I'll be my, I'll be uh, Dory, the Castlevania door. So I like the chain. What's this? Uh. Nope, I can't. Uh, okay, I'm not that one door that can build fires yet. Okay, cool. I gotta get ten of these. Yeah, so on my previous LEGO games, I will actually be going out of my way sometimes to get as many gold bricks as I can. Because I don't want to be stopped and, uh, by a game and have to, you know, like, complete it later because I gotta go back and get the uh, gold bricks. So this is kind of like the Mario games. A Super Mario 3D World, when you have to, when you have to get a certain number of uh, green stars or star medals. Uh-oh. It's war! Okay, we gotta fight to protect the Dwarf Kingdom for Erebor. Man, you guys. Okay, whatever. Oh, crap. Bam. Get over here. I know that that's not, that's a line from Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, but I don't care. All right, let's build this. Okay, I gotta be, uh, hmm, is this for Bomber? I don't know. Man, these orcs, one thing they're good at is their ladders. They're <laughs> nice. I like that. Okay, let's move it over here. I want to see how fast I can get these done, though. Uh, okay, Dwalin. 
Oh, nice. Okay, uh, I gotta defeat 45 of these doors. I mean, 45 of these orcs. There. Okay. Bam! <laughs> and sometimes when you defeat the doors, you'll be able to uh, collect materials out of them. It's really nice. You know, if I do a free play of this, it's gonna be long. I can't guarantee I'll do free play because I got a lot of games I usually do, so. But yeah. If I could, I would, though. Let's just enjoy the story mode, shall we? So I can help you guys on how to do things, you know? Because, I mean, I haven't done free play in a long time. Like, I mean, I did it in um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, and that wasn't really appreciated much, so that's why I don't like to waste my time with free play. Unless if it's really for a cause, you know? Oh crap. I am showing you how to get a lot of gold bricks though, so you will not so you'll progress throughout the game. That's important. Oh look, I got some material. Damn. Okay, how many orcs have I killed so far? Twenty-eight. I still need to kill like seventeen more. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, the twirling finish. You know, a lot of doors have that ability. Oh, crap. It's actually hard to die here from combat because you're always getting hearts from killing these dumbass doors. Huh, I wish I had my arrow so I could shoot that dwarf there. So I don't think I'll be able to kill that many doors. I mean, why am I keep on saying doors? Orcs. Goblins. Bam. Nah, I don't got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, that's nice. I love that move. Bam. Oh, that's uh, Thor Thorin's father and Azok the Defiler. Hmm. Dang it. Okay, I just need one more. Of those, uh, yeah, but these, uh, the enemies actually have uh, increased health. Oh, not well, 41 out of 45. Nice. Okay, I need that. Yes, I got all the lights. Here, any more orcs here want to die? I find it. No, you killed my father! Alright. Cool, that was a nice level. Let's see how many gold bricks I got. That's it? Oh well, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna be trying to keep these episodes not longer than 30 minutes, but I will get done with a lot because we've already completed Shire. I wasn't gonna stop there, that would have been too short. And, you know, there's 17 worlds here, so it's going to be a lot of levels. It's going to be quite a lengthy walkthrough, so I don't want to, I don't want it to overstay his welcome. Thane, right. Thorin's father, was driven mad by grief. He went missing, taken prisoner or killed. We did not know. Okay. We were leaderless. Defeat. As like there's a fire. Huh, looks like I gotta fight Azog now. The giant. Yeah, I think after we're done with Moria, we'll wrap it up. Hmm. But yeah, like, like I don't know how long each episode is supposed to last. It will definitely vary. This is a big. This is like the biggest handheld Lego game since City. Lego, since City Undercover. So I'm happy for that. Uh oh, bam, bam, bam. Oh crap, he kicked me. Facing down the pale. Yeah. And one thing you there are game overs in this game. If you die, you start from the beginning of the level. Yeah, handheld Lego games are pretty challenging, unlike the consoles where you just die and come right back. So yeah. Bam, bam. You dare mess with a dwarf, you orcs! I am Thorin, Oak and Shield, God of Thunder. Not just playing that—that—that's Thor. 
I bet you a lot of people uh, keep on getting Thorin's name mixed up with Thor. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> no, thanks, uh, Marvel, actually. Thor is actually an old Norse Greek uh, Norse myth mythology. Norse god. Uh, Marvel didn't create it, by the way. Huh, there's something I need here. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's be dwelling. Bam. Get on my level, Azog. Oh, yeah. You think you're so tough? Can't deal with the mighty hammer here. Oh, you want to run away? Uh, wait, let's use... Nice. Bam. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, it's good to defeat these enemies to get some materials here. Oh, yeah, I love the fighting here, though. Mm. Uh, yeah. Bam. All right. All right, okay, let's continue. Oh, I love that, like like when he chips them up and just like pounds them. I love that. Come on, let's go. And Thor has such authority; he's able to get doors to do what he wants to them to do. All right. I mean, I'm already clocking to almost 30 minutes. Alone this terrible mm -mm. I gotta be careful he here. Azog is very strong. He can even kill his own men. So when he swing like that, stay the hell away from him. And then return the favor. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Oh crap. Oh crap, no. Okay. There, there. Oh yes, I got him. Cut your arm off. the king all right anytime you see someone with the name like Thor just know they are destined for greatness all right so well that looks like it wraps it up let's uh, enter back in Bree and then see what I had to do next and then I'll conclude this episode All right, it's just taking a bit long. You know, I think I'll be editing these loading times, definitely. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Welcome back. And if you do, you will not be the same. You will not be the same. But home is now behind you. Come here for the night. I think it would be wiser to move on. I will not go near that place. I've had enough of dwarves for one day. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up for today. We will continue this next time. But all right. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode. Leave a comment short support really helps. I'm really enjoying this handheld get version of Lego The Hobbit. So, all right. So, check the plays. Make sure you don't miss a single episode. Remember to participate in the giveaway. Until next time, swag out.